Good morning, guys. I wanted to show my garden to you. It's been a while since uh, I did a video. I do have eggplant coming in. It's kind of not the best time since it's going to be uh, a frost soon, but I'm happy for whatever I get. The garden here is really starting to slow down. Um, I still have a few things growing. Not a whole lot, but I've got this spaghetti squash. I put tool around it to stop it from keep the squirrels off of it. That helps. And I got another one down here. They took a big chunk out of it. And uh, it's still edible, but I'd have to cut that part off. So anyways, that's what I do to keep the squirrels away. Seems to work. I have lemon balm growing here. I've had a lot of lemon balm growing. I've dried some, stored it away for the winter. I still have other little um, eggplants. You can see that it's getting ready to flower. I don't know how far I can get this plant to grow, but that's okay. Uh, pumpkins in general were a huge disappointment. I just did not have enough, I'd say, compost in the soil this year. This entire thing should just get ripped out. It's completely dead. I will try again next year, and hopefully it will come out better. This year is just a cherry tomato. It's huge. They all do that. They get huge. They're like climbing vines. They should be strung up. But sometimes I just don't have it set up the way it should. I'd set up a teepee down on the other part of my yard for the same reason. Just sit bring it up and put it up off the ground. This year is just the remnants of my poor zucchini. It's just not doing great anymore. And I had a bad time with the vine borers. A real bad time. Here yeah, I've got my more uh, mango coming up. It's not really a good place for it to grow, but hey, it's kind of cool to see how well it's doing. My very late planted corn, itty bitty baby ears. It was a fun experiment, but I would definitely plant that earlier next summer instead of June, mid-June. That was not good. So anyway, I have tons of tomatoes, as you can see. I have no shortage of them. The broccoli, I believe, that is just very badly eaten. <laughs> I never did uh, cover this one up, but that's okay. I could always just take the whole thing down and save all the leaves and eat that. The leaves are just as good as the flowers, of course. So many nutrients and vitamins. Let's see. I have a third eggplant here, as you can see. Last night, we just got our pine needles falling everywhere. So, the ground is just covered. Transplanted all my onions into the same pot. I uh, possibly might bring this in for the winter just to have fresh greens. But I haven't really decided if I really want to do that or not. Here I have plenty of peppers. They are just growing and growing despite the heat or the lack of it. I've got peppers starting to turn. Even the tiny ones back there. Get a little bit of color back there. Anyway, I had these sticks in here for when I cover them up. They would be like some sort of support for the plastic. But at this point... Uh, the plants are taller than the sticks, so I have not been covering them up at all lately. Just letting them get the rain. I used to be so careful about not letting them get water. And only water them every few days. But honestly, I feel like they've done so much better. Just let them get all the rain that you're getting. Unless, of course, it's more than an evening of rain or more than, more than a day or whatever, you know, I mean... They, obviously, they're fruiting. They need water in order to uh, create the fruit, so. 
that I have been very happy with and very, very glad for that experiment. This here is a regular pepper. This here is the, the, the variegated leaves, the um, candy cane peppers. I am overflowing in tomatoes. Mostly cherry tomatoes. They came up in my compost here. I've got romas. They're not quite ripe. Slicing tomatoes back here. I see some weird stuff happening. I've never seen this one before. It looks like something came and ate a hole in there. But yeah, I've been picking off the yellow leaves lately. I see more now. Cucumbers are about done. If you look in here, I really should just pick that off and pull the whole vine down. It's like in its dying stages. But um, tomatoes are still, you know, going strong. Um, they take forever to ripen when they're this kind, the slicing kind. Oh, oh, that's not good. Some, uh, we got a lot of rain yesterday, so it probably split that open. Uh, my beautiful green beans, still going strong. You can see them. Look at those beautiful little flowers. Lots and lots now. I haven't been picking in here for a good week. Just because there was nothing. There's just only flowers, nothing for picking. So I cleaned it out pretty good. I have been going through and picking out these leaves. They just fall off. They're just ready. See that? I take them off and I throw them in my compost bin. And that helps to create soil. And that's the best way to do it. This is what makes your soil. It's not just composted stuff. If you look out underneath the trees, there's pine needles, leaves, um, that's what, that's how you make soil, so, it's full of, full of nutrients, that's what trees, uh, thrive on. I have a new flush of, uh, Nasturtium leaves, um, some brand new blossoms coming in, a little bit beaten up from the rainstorm yesterday. But it's beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. I would love to see it self seed itself. I have been leaving some of it on just to allow it to uh, see if I can get it to self seed. Here we have this itty bitty tiny tomato here. I was wondering what happened to that. It's kind of getting mixed in with this one raspberry plant that I have in here. Mugwort. Uh, everything's slowly dying down. I did plant some new kale. Just, I will be separating that soon and then planting them individually. I have a little bit of sage, uh, not sage, um, basil left. It's beautiful purple basil. Look at that. So that was fun. I did not grow as much, um, basil as I would have liked. But that's alright. You know, I was just a little experimentation with a new type. And here, surprisingly enough, I had this random squash or pumpkin come up. I get this itty bitty baby and incoming, um, what do you call it? Frost. I have no idea if this is going to grow or not, but hey, whatever. Still neat to see. Uh, here is an itty bitty compost bin. I pulled everything out of here. I had all my broccoli in there at one point, so I decided I'm just going to start throwing some compost in there. Eventually, I need to take all of my totes um, and store them for the winter, but I'm still growing, so I'm not quite ready for that. There's just another one of my wild raspberries that I dug up to save them and someday hopefully get some raspberries growing. That would be great. This lovely little... Uh, stand of tomato plants is still thriving. I see that we had a little bit of damage to my little trellis here that I made. But I've been picking here every couple of days I go and get a big huge handful. I'm not quite to figure out what I'm going to do with my lemongrass for the winter. 
considering the fact that I live in Maine. Um, they wouldn't survive the winter. They really should come indoors. I really just need some type of plate to go under it. I could bring the whole thing in. But, yeah. Tomatoes, my sherry tomato teepee. Still doing alright. It looked awful just because of the dying leaves. But some of these leaves, despite, you know, the coloration or discoloration. Yeah, it looked like it's dying. It looked horrible. But some of these leaves are still um, performing photosynthesis for the plant. You cut off too much at one time. The thing will die. I discovered that with the uh, zucchini the other day. I wanted to cut back all the dead stuff. And just let the new leaves grow and not just kill the whole plant. And it was already dying, but it was just like too much. Couldn't handle it, you know? So I have a little bit of green bean down along here. Every now and then I find a little handful. If you can look, you can see that a little bit growing. Not a whole lot. This is about that time that green beans start to really die off. So any minute now I expect a cold snap. And it'll be just dead, and I'll just pull the whole thing down and compost it. <sighs> it's absolutely my favorite. Right here, look at that. Just love the tendrils and the swirls and the spirals. Look at it, just all the way. So beautiful. So, um, still got calendula growing in here. I harvested a bunch, and I'll probably go ahead and make some salve. I don't really need a whole lot. I'm not making gifts to people like I used to. If you look here, uh, you got the seeds. And down here too. You wouldn't want to pull these off now to save indoors because they are still damp. But obviously, you can just drop them into your garden and they will just come up everywhere. I've been doing that. I've been dropping calendula. I've been dropping... Uh, Oh gosh, Cosmos. So I should have a lot more flowers next year. I do have a little bit of uh, like arugula growing in here, but it's kind of overrun and crazy looking. If you just look down here, there's some of that edible stuff. I literally have basically almost no lettuce. This year is one of the few I have. Some of, I think this is just weeds. Or some people like dandelions, but I'm not that fond of the bitter flavor. It's just not my thing. But yeah, just throw it in now and let it decompose. I've got arugula going to seed. I've just been letting them go to seed and dry out at their own time and it self seeds for me. That's a big help. And of course more calendula here. So basically, we're really just letting everything go to seed. Here we are. I've got my pine needles falling in, making a huge mess. This is just allowing it to go to seed. I have not really been harvesting from here. And as you can see, someone else has been helping themselves. Caterpillars and, what do you call them? Grasshoppers. It's kind of frustrating. I'm hoping I have a better setup next year. I'll think of something different. What else? Um, sunflowers are about gone. There's no flowers on here. This is dead. I don't even know if it's still alive. I feel that when you have sunflowers, you really need to have some sort of fence to hold them up. There's a random tomato plant. I think I wasn't aware of it or I just forgot. <laughs> Look at that. I'm put it up a little bit so you can see it better. So yeah, um, these of course, these are not edible. This is, um, God, what is it called? Hydrangeas. Yeah, these are hydrangeas. Solomon Steel. It's just the last bit of color before fall ends. Blue, purple. So this has become kind of like a wild overgrown flower garden with tomatoes in the back. <laughs> Lavender, cosmos, most have gone to seed. Eventually I'm just going to go ahead and 
pull everything up and decompost it. But I had flower heads here, so I can just let them go. They will grow seeds, and I can just scatter them. Tomorrow, I mean, not tomorrow, but next year, I think it's going to be a lot more crazy looking with the flowers. I kind of hope so. That'd be great. So anyways, I really don't have much more to talk about. I just have these itty bitty tomatoes. Um, you come take a look at my front yard here real quick. I'll show you something. Here yeah, I've got yellow growing. They're out of season of course now. And if you look down here, one, two, three, four, I have four comfrey plants which self seeded from the plant in the back garden behind me. <coughs> and uh, so what I do is I make salves out of these two. But I really need to relocate these so that they are spread out, not so close to each other. But right about now is a good time to do it because um, plants are more dormant. They're not in flower, they're not like in their full um, growth or whatever. So that's probably something I gotta do real soon before the frost. But other than that, I don't really have a whole lot to share. I kind of been putting off the video knowing I didn't have a lot to talk about. It's a small garden, you know, but yeah. Anyway, I want to say thank you for you joining me today and for checking out my garden, seeing where I'm at. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a ton of amazing news. It's sort of like the garden is dying. <laughs> Alright. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. And please be sure to subscribe and follow for any of my other videos I have on gardening or natural remedies. I will be sure to post them and you can check it all out. Alright, have a great one. Bye-bye.